Good morning, it's Christine Crutcher from Create with Christine. Thanks so much for tuning in this morning, whether you are gonna catch me live here in a minute or watch the replay. So very excited to share a very pretty easy fun fold project or card with you this morning. It is actually based on a swap I just received probably within the past couple weeks from um, one of my sidelines, Cheryl and it's called a joy fold. I actually had to look this up. Um, so here's the card we are going to make today. I am featuring the Friends Are Like Seashells stamp set and the Pretty Prints designer series paper. So let me just show you the stamp set and kind of like a lot of the products I'm using are carryover. The only thing kind of brandy new is the embellishment I picked and the designer series paper. So here's the stamp set, uh, 23 photopolymer stamps. And then you might remember it, it, well, it tells you right in the catalog. So let's just take a quick peek there really quick. Um, on page 22 at the bottom, this is where the stamp set is. And it tells you right down here at the bottom that it coordinates with the Seaside Seashells dies and the Seashells 3D embossing folder. I'm actually using them in kind of a different way than they are kind of intended to be used. What ends up happening with this set is you can emboss and then cut with this embossing folder. So here's the embossing folder. And it's really, it's a 3D. So it's hard to kind of see here, but what I did is I took the strips of the designer series paper and I just layered them side by side inside. And then here's the dies. So you can kind of see how the dies line up with the embossing folder. There's six dies. So like this piece is one and then there's like this is a single one and these ones at the bottom are single. Or yeah, there's, there's six. Oh yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, so there's four little ones and then one large one. Okay, and then very quickly, I just wanna show the paper because this is the paper I chose, which is Pretty Prints, and it's very regal with the greens and the purples, but I chose the corals to focus on. And this, it's hard to see, um, but I chose like this coral one right here is kind of flat. So this one's great for like the embossing folder or for stamping on. So, but here's the other side of it. It's very kind of um, floral and prints. And then this one's kind of more like a dandelion look. Um, so let's jump right in and get started. This is definitely not hard. It's an easy fun fold, I'll say. Um, I see lots of fun folds that are very difficult. So this one was Check, I can do this. So I'm gonna point the camera down. Good morning, Janine, thanks for being here. Um, I will say I'm a little tired. I was at a four hour concert last night in Boston. Um, and then we met friends for dinner beforehand. So yesterday was kind of a long day and I'm hoping that my voice kind of stays. I was doing a lot of yelling and cheering uh, it was like four bands and all the breaks in between of like setting up one band and then kind of going on to the next one. It was long. So, but totally fun. I haven't gone to kind of a big, well, I can't say that because I went to a festival in April, but a big concert locally in a, in a while. So, all right, here's my card. And like I said, it's a joy fold. So this opens like this and this opens like this. So I'm gonna show you how to do all those um, pieces and the measurements will be below. And let's just jump right in and start with our stamping. So I'm gonna bring over my Pierce mat cause I'm using photopolymer stamps. And I am using three different ink colors. So I'm using Calypso Coral, Sahara Sand and Petal Pink. So I kind of wanted kind of like a beachy theme i'm actually going to the beach this week so for four days of crafting so kind of got beach on the brain right now i have to do some laundry and pack today because i leave tomorrow morning bright and early so i'm just gonna do a thank you on i actually picked very vanilla for this because once i saw the colors 
um, I kind of thought very vanilla. And I'm also doing Calypso Coral stamp for the sand dollar. Um, and I probably should, well, these dies, the sand dollar, the starfish, and the little shell I'm using all have part of the little dies that coordinate. So I'll show you in a minute. I have three squares of very vanilla that are just two by two. And then I did a little tiny piece for the thank you. It's one half by like one and one eighth. So we're just gonna do the starfish in Sahara, Sahara sand. And then I'll have the petal pink and the little baby shell. And I'm just keeping them outline stamped. You totally could step this up a bit and color them in a little bit with Wink of Stella um, glitter brush or like a little bit of blender pen if you wanted to move some of the ink on them. So there's the petal pink and all my stamping is done. So the stamping was super simple. And what I did is I cut out the three pieces with the coordinating dies. So just to save time on the video. So I cut those out. Don't lose my thank you. Okay. So let's move on and talk about the card, the card base and the inside part of the card, because that's how we're going to make this joy fold. And I'm going to bring over a bone folder for this. So the measurements on the card base I'm using thick, very vanilla, and it's a five and a half by six and a half inch piece. And then I scored on the long side at four and a quarter. So when I say I scored on the long side, that's the six and a half inch side. So let's just give that a fold and crease that with my, our bone folder. I'll try not to shake the table too much. And then I'm going to do the inside fold piece as well. This one is also thick, very vanilla, and it's a five and a half by four and a quarter piece. And then I scored it at two and three quarters on the long side. So five and a half side score at two and three quarters. And I am just going to fold this and again, bone folder to give it a nice crease. This card doesn't really close at all. So if you see it, let me just bring the sample back. So laying flat, it's going to stay open. It will stand up on its own, um, but it won't fold um, completely flat. So you're going to see in my pictures online on my blog, um, I'm going to probably like put a finger to kind of hold it shut so I can kind of get a good shot of it. If you want to see the close-ups, those will be on my blog at christinestamps.blogspot.com. So let's actually do like the front on this little uh, kind of like book type piece. So this is going to be the inside and this is going to be the outside. So what I did with the embossing folder, let me grab it so I can show you what I was talking about. So what I did with my strips of paper is I just picked, the way I cut my designer paper, I just put the pieces in the embossing folder side by side so I could emboss in one pass. So this is the Pretty Prince designer series paper. You can see the other side is very kind of more the floral pattern. Uh, but I just put them in. One's going to go on the outside and one's going to go on the inside. I mean, well, they're going to both be on the outside, but sorry, they're going to be on different panels. So I wanted to show you how I did that. And let's just start adhering our pieces. So I have a piece of Calypso Coral cardstock that's going to layer on here. And then I'm going to layer the designer series paper embossed piece. So the card I got from Cheryl, I'll show you at the end. It's a masculine card, and she used the He's the Man Designer Series paper, and it's he, she used the Brood for You bundle, so it's it's a masculine. We did a masculine swap. Um, so that'll give you a different idea. With the ex she used the exact same measurements. Um. 
So let's just do the embellishing while we're here. What I had a hard time choosing what to do because of course the embossing folder is really pretty and I have this like these really pretty shells here like the conch shell. So I kind of just used that as my guide and I put the sand dollar um, just kind of overlapping it a little bit. I'm going to use seal plus. Um, so I just kind of did overlapping a little bit. And then I just overlapped the starfish. And you're going to see I'm just, you could use glue dots here. Um, honestly, it doesn't matter. I just went to like one side and then a little tiny shell on the other side. And then the little sentiment I put, because I'm using the seal, or if you use glue dots, um, I just kind of tucked this underneath a little bit because I didn't have adhesive all the way to all the sides. So you can kind of decide where you want it. I'm going to put it there. Oh, my hands are in the way. Sorry. Um, you probably didn't see that, but let me, let me back up a little bit. So... There we go. So I just tucked that piece under a little bit since I really only have the adhesives in the middle. So, and I can kind of even move them a little bit. Oops, now that's too far over the U, but there we go. That's a little bit better. So, and then, of course, I wanted to embellish a little bit more. So let's just stay here while we're here. And I did a eight inch piece of linen thread and I'm gonna put this on with a mini glue dot. And I'm just going to tuck it under the starfish so you don't see the glue at all. So just pick, whoops, um, just pick a spot and put the knot underneath. I probably should have put the thank you over a little bit, but I think it's still fine. I can kind of sort of mess with it a little bit. And then these are new in the annual catalog. Everything I'm using is in the 2022-2023 Stampin' Up! annual catalog. These are the iridescent pearls. So I am just going to pick, um, I think I did a larger one on my original sample. So I'm just going to pick a larger one. Did I get it? I moved it, but it didn't come with me. Here we go. Whoops. And just kind of put it over near the little shell. Okay, I am totally ready to go to the beach this week. Okay, so let's do the other pieces since this front panel is done. So I have stuff everywhere, but that's okay. So here's again my card base. So let's do the front panel. I have another piece of Calypso Coral and I'll put all the measurements. There's a lot of measurements on this card um, online for you in the description below. So this panel is two by five and a quarter. And then the designer series paper is one and three fourths by five. And then I was torn what to do about the inside and Cheryl put designer series paper and cardstock. I decided to just put some cardstock just to kind of give it a little bit more like stabilization, I guess, because it's not a full card, you know, a card. It's only kind of like almost like a half, three quarters of a card. So I'm putting Sahara sand four by five and a quarter in the inside. And then I totally did this wrong. Oh no, what am I gonna do? Okay, so I totally decorated this the wrong way because this is supposed to go on the inside. Um, and no, this is, this is correct. I can do it this way. Okay, scratch that. I'm just gonna do, the card is gonna be a little bit opposite of my original sample. So the card is gonna go like this but you want to open this piece. So you only want adhesive on the piece that's gonna be non-decorated. So that's kind of why I decorated it. Um, I just had to flip it around. So 
I'm just gonna put my adhesive and line this up. It kind of goes to one side. It's not completely in the middle. So I'm just eyeballing it now. Um, and yeah, so I made that work. So in my original sample, the left panel is decorated and it opens this way. And obviously this is the only second time I ever made this card. So now here, the, le the right side is open and we're gonna open it this way. So it would work either way. Um, and obviously you could also, depending on what you want for the middle, you could change the dimensions of this middle panel and make this card also, you know, the other way that would work too. Um, so I hope you give this a try, a uh, joy fold card, and I will put the me all the measurements below and everything, all the products I used. And I just have a couple announcements before I sign off to start packing up all my crafting things and doing some laundry uh, before I head to Maine tomorrow. So the kits are on sale, the kits collection by Stampin' Up! So it's buy one, get a second one 50% off. And just as a reminder, that goes until June 30th, 2022. And then... The, I'm going to bring the camera up at, my, up at my face to just sign off. So the Sweet Summer promotion, that is one of my own promotion that I'm doing with Create with Christine. And that is going to go through August 31st. And I did forget. Um, so next week when I do my tokens, I will have somebody to already go in the bucket because they've already earned tokens this week with their order. Um, so that... All the details for that are on my blog at christinestamps.blogspot.com. So make sure to check that out if you are interested in getting a token for that promotion. And then somebody's going to win uh, gift certificates for me at the end of the summer. So that's it for me for this week. I hope you have a great week. I'll be at the beach for four days crafting. So um, just in case I don't, if you need me and I don't respond right away, just know that I will get to you as soon as I can. Just will be kind of, it's going to be a little bit hectic. It's a small group, but um, like we have to go out of the property for all of our meals and that sort of thing. So that takes time. Um, but luckily we can walk to the beach and we can walk to a lot of the shops and a lot of the restaurants. So I'm very excited and it's a small group. So um, we'll get kind of a more intimate um time with each other for crafting and yeah it's just going to be a great to fill our cups okay have a great week everybody